guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting reading to episode 2 of It's the Order of Rabbit Bloom. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 2 in 3, 2, 1, go. My nose. Is this supposed to be the Phantom Thief, um, shadow thing? Oh my god, how funny Mona Lisa, that's so cute. Yeah, except it's Lupin. It's that girl from last week. No, that's straight up shadow. Cut that hair. This girl must be dreaming. I mean, that <laughs> <laughs> uh. mm -hmm. is that a cup? A cup blimp. Is he Case of the childhood friend stolen heart. Okay, makes sense. All right, so we're two minutes in. How long is it gonna take for my best girl to show up? It's not my birthday yet, but technically in Japan it is my birthday. Tomorrow is my birthday. I would like to see her before my actual birthday comes. For comes, even though I'm technically kind of celebrating today, even though I will be celebrating a lot more tomorrow, but just to see her. In this episode, even though, you know, last week was the best way to start out season three for her to be in the first few minutes of the episode. Like, mwah, like still, I'm on a high from that last week. So we hope and pray that this week going into it as well, <clears throat> she makes a, you know, an entrance something. If not, that's okay. I'm still happy from last week. And no, this doesn't count. If Ben Zeddy doesn't get another co uh, collab with the show, I will. Mm. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that'll make sense because it is October and you want to watch horror films. Oh, come on, Shuttle. Come on, hang out with Chia. Oh. That would be a week I would love to go. Hmm? 
What if it's somebody dressed as a scary rabbit? <laughs> It's so sad. Now, okay, these four girls are all going to pick get picked off one by one, right? Because it seems like we're doing that. So, my money, mm, maybe on um, Maya. But, of course, they're, they're, they're in on it. But it would make sense for Maya and Megu to also get, you know, picked off one by one with this plan, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're shorter. <laughs> no, shut up. I'm not even okay. <laughs> oh. Are we dividing? up <laughs> Yeah, you'll do fine, boo. <laughs> Water? She is really smart. At least you tried, Liz. See, I feel like Chino is going to be the next one. Oh, oh my god, it's so freaking cute. As I was saying, Chino might be the next one to try to scare them. And I feel like in the end, Chino's going to be the one who's going to get scared. And it's going to be so freaking cute. Well, yeah, you live with wild geese. But, you know, yeah, wild geese sometimes, you know, gets on your nerves. Oh. Oh. What's up? <laughs> no, Tippy. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, that's funny. Hmm? <laughs> look at Tippy. Oh, you look so good, though. Wait, you're... Oh, my God. Yeah, she's more scary than you, Cocoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, it kind of worked. <laughs> yeah, I thought Chino would have popped up. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Oh, babe. Oh, my God, stop it. <laughs> I can't with these two. Kinda. <laughs> so is yours, boo. Really? Really? When? <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, stop. So cute. Cutie patooties, I love you so much. No, this is just the Twilight Zone. <laughs> that aura. <laughs> Yes, yeah, since you like action, Liz. Ah, there she is! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> See, even if she's not really here as a speaking role, she's still here! <laughs> there you go. Thank you for the birthday gift. Oh, 
Poor baby. Yeah, all they care about is, a, a, you know, inspector. No, no, babe. It's not your fault. That's a new tongue twister. <laughs> Yeah, you bring yourself into it. Oh, God. But see, Shadow looks the closest to the to Lavon. I'm just saying. Like, there's a freaking figure that I want that literally is her. Come on now. Look at even look at the cover. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this how we start? No, okay. I felt like we watched in the different, a way different movie. She sure did. What, we gonna watch a completely different show? Oh, you put a bouquet of carrots. Oh my God, stop it. You know what? This is kind of like an Easter egg to not only um, Lupin the Third, but also um, Kaito Kid for um, Case Close, and then also one of my other personal favorite Magical Girl Thief series, Saint Tail. That's her in a Ronco talking, like, mm. Oh! Nice. Mm-hmm. This is straight up her Ronco. This is not Shuto anymore. This is Kazuki Ronco, the one of my best girls from Idol Master, besides Kaede Takagaki, because that's, like, the ultimate. That is my queen. Love her. If Chino already loves it, then you know the kids are going to love it. Yeah! <laughs> sure did.
Mm, I wish we had some today. It is like depressing outside today. I think it's going to rain. I don't know. Aww. <laughs> I think you should give one to everybody. So they can all be one together. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're taking the context out. <laughs> I didn't even know what to say about this episode. But I bet you Shadow makes a great Phantom Lupin. You know, I mean, because, like, she literally is her. I mean, I, I just, I want that figure. I will say that until the end of the day. Until, like... Whenever I get enough money to get it, because I found a used one and I really want it so bad. Like, if I can't get it for my birthday, I would love it as a Christmas gift. It's so freaking cute. Look at Tito! <laughs> my, my little Alice in Wonderland, Maya, Megu, Tino, you baby, so cute. Oh god, this ending might be as cuter as the one from season two when they were just walking around and they were just dancing and everything and I was just like yeah! <laughs> and just crying over three kids and I was like yep I love these kids so much I want to protect them and then what was worse is that ending got memed so much on YouTube and I was just like oh god but it was a cute episode. I'm glad best girl Aoyama was, you know, even though she hadn't have a really big, big speaking role in this episode, she was still here. She's always still here no matter what. So yes, once again, thank you for the little mini birthday present before, you know, my actual, like, celebration of my birthday. But it was a cute episode. I loved <clears throat> them trying to scare the crap out of Shadow. <laughs> she, like, that was so fucking cute. Oh, so cute. <laughs> mhm, mm mhm. Oh my god! <laughs> that was so cute. But oh my god, we all knew that this episode was not going to end without Coco and making you know a, a, an appearance on stealing. Okay, it's still funny to me, specifically with Coco as VA because I know her way before I had watched My Hero, way before I had watched this as um Ron from Banzari. So still like her rage is just mwah. like I, I can't believe how she can go from like two freaking cute characters for my hero in this to going to someone as Ron from Banzari. And I'm like, how in the world do you sound so she sounds so aggressive as Ron because I mean Ron is a very aggressive but still sensitive character in the Banzari series. If you haven't like really um played Banzari, I highly request it. I mean Banzari is such a good game and plus the fact is it's just good as hell. I mean mm. but also like mm, support Rosalia because that's my girls right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that now. But she does a really good job. I mean everybody in this cast does a really good job. I mean Maya who plays freaking Sh Shadow, she does amazing every single freaking week. And it's just like oh my god. I, I hope that, you know, in this third season, we get to see Drunk Shadow on coffee again. I mean, that was always the highlight of any time when this girl got drunk on coffee. Because I was like, I didn't know you could get drunk on coffee. And it's still, it makes me laugh even till today. Because her little moment where she's just like, <laughs> just all like hyperactive. And she's all calm and everything. She just looks so fucking. 
fucking hilarious. And I'm like, this girl is just, she's like, you know how like when babies get milk drunk on milk and they just want to sleep, except with coffee for shadow, she's just hyper as <laughs> A little atomic bunny, like, <laughs> energizer bunny. Oh my God, I love her so much. But like, yeah, this is a really good episode. I hope we get to see a little bit more of... <clears throat> Phantom Thief Lupin later on down the line, it would be nice because just showing this character in episode two kind of means that you're not really going to show her again, but I, I'm guessing maybe they could if they really wanted to, but at the end of the day, it ain't my decision. It's theirs. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view to it. It's episode two of Is the Order a Rabbit Bloom? If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode three. Bye, guys.